So today what we're gonna be doing is showing you how to stuff this pork loin. All it is is about taking a, a really great piece of meat and making it even better. Let's get started. So you wanna start off positioning the meat where it's going to feel comfortable for you. So me being a right-handed person, I'm gonna flip it over this way. The one thing that I really like to do is to have a knife that is actually a little bit longer than the product that you're working with. So what I do is, because this is the show side, this is the side that everyone sees that looks so beautiful. So what we're gonna do is flip this over like this. So now what I'm going to do is start, and I'm gonna cut basically one third of this muscle here, and we're gonna cut it all the way, about 90% of the way through. So let's show you how to do that. I put my hand on the top here so everything is sort of flat. That's my reference point. And sort of a sawing motion back and forth. What you wanna do, nice and straight. And don't cut all the way through, but then you're gonna sort of open it up like a book. And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna flip this over like this. And I sort of bunch it up like that so I can see and exactly one third of the second cut as well. So I cut through, and this is where a sharp knife is really good to have. 90% of the way through, we'll finish this one off here. So that's how you're gonna get it ready for stuffing. So let's stuff. What I like to do is move the pork so it's basically straight in front of you like this. I like to season it uh, on the inside. Salt and pepper is really great. You wanna make it uh, taste uh, fantastic in the middle. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take the, the stuffing and I sort of squeeze it in my hand a little bit, sort of forms a bowl. Uh, this way the, the stuffing will be a little bit more dense inside the pork. But I, what I like to do is only go about um, an inch you know, to the end. So sometimes I use my knife as a little bit of a, a guide, because when you cook it, the stuffing typically will sort of ooze out the end. So what I'm gonna do is sort of squish it together like that. Now, flatten it out. I take the, the end piece, and then I'm gonna roll it all the way over. And don't be, don't be shy with it. You wanna pr press it down a little bit, and you're gonna roll it over like this. So now this is our show side, and now what we're gonna do is tie it. I've got some string here, ready to go. It's a butcher's twine. So what I do is, basically you're making like a little lasso. I go across like this, loop it like that, and I pull it tight, nice and snug like that. I go one more, knot like that. So now what I'm going to do is I take my hand like this, sort of a low five, I go around like this, and then I line it up. So every single time I pull it a little bit tight like that. Again, twist it like this, go underneath it. And I like to have the string all lined up on one side to make it look really nice. And you keep going all the way through the roast the reason why you do this is to keep the stuffing on the inside of the roast, uh, to have something that is really nice and uniform in size. We'll do one more. So you see that the stuffing is already starting to come out. We're gonna push it back like this. And then what I do is I take the, the end of the string, I go over like this, and just sort of tie it like that, trim off the excess. So there you go, a perfectly stuffed pork loin.